what's up? How you doing? My name is Kelson and my YouTube name is KMC and welcome to KMC Theater. Let me show you around a little bit. Now these fabrics, I got them from Joanne Fabric Store. And behind that fabric that you're looking at, I also use a, another type of fabric. I, I use white cotton fabric, many different layers to help dampen the sound, to get rid of some of the echo. And these curtains, they came from Walmart. But it, as you can see, you see the rolls, they look kind of like they look perfectly straight. The way I, I accomplished that was by getting some plywoods and I bought some PVC pipes and screwed them on there. I use I use fabric spray, some kind of fabric um, glue, and then and spray it in on there, and then and then apply the the curtain in there and press them down. But for this part, I had to get my kids to help me out because that was the most difficult part out of the whole thing. I remember one of them, which was the, the middle one right here. When I first built it, because I had started started by myself, and it didn't look right at all. It didn't look professional. When I, when I finished built it, it had a lot of wrinkles all over it, so I wasn't quite satisfied with it. I got all pissed and, 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 and tore it down and, and, and tried again. But that time, I got my, my kids to help me out. I, I had to... Get them to hold the fabric for me while I pressed it down to, to make sure that I don't get any wrinkles and any bubbles. <clears throat> now for my electronic stuff. This is a definitive technology 9060 towers. Hey guys, I forgot to mention that the top portion of the tower speakers are actually at most up firing speakers. Now, I decided not to use those anymore because I wasn't getting any Atmos sound out of them above me. I don't know if it's because of the type of ceiling that I have. It's not a smooth surface ceiling. So I decided to go with in-ceiling speakers instead. Now, if you want true Atmos effect, the best way is to put in-ceiling speakers. And once I did that, the difference was night and day. And these these speakers, I've been wanting I've been wanting um, to have them for the longest, but I, I couldn't afford them at that, that time. Um, and this one right here, the center channel, is a SC ninety sixty center channel. And and this this setup is a five point two point two, so two two sub three three. Speakers on front, two in the back, and two subwoofers, and two Atmos speakers. The Atmos speakers are, um, they're, um, Polk Audio. I believe that's what they are, Polk Audio RC60i. Now, this speaker right here, I used to have two of them, this, this subwoofer. But the other one went went it went bad it went bad on me kept on dying, even though I took it to a shop to try to get it fixed, but it still wasn't working. So I, um, the other one is in my garage, but this one I still keep it just to get an extra vibration underneath the seats. Um, I, I've been thinking about selling it, and over here, SV this is a SVS SB16. I've been hearing a lot of good reviews about about these subwoofers now they don't it don't doesn't quite match obviously with, with with that other one but um yeah like i said great reviews on those for the most part this is pretty good it's, the box is actually too big for this room but it's it's it it doesn't bother me it doesn't it doesn't bother bother me that much because they, they give out good sounds now this TV is a Samsung Q6. Now 
this is not the TV that I wanted at first. The the the, the TV that I wanted was a Samsung Q7, but I, I I guess I waited too long, and by the time I went to Best Buy to to buy it, and it was sold out, and this is the new one that had that they had came out for the for the um, previous year. I mean, for the for the next year that was coming up, this is the new one that they had got. But I I wasn't too happy with this TV because, and like I said, this, this, that's not the one that I wanted. And on top of that, when I bought it, I bought it at the wrong time because I bought it when it first came out. This is the wrong time to, to buy TVs because that's when the, the price is at its peak. So, yeah, I, I paid a little too much for this one. Now... Sometimes I, I use this TV to watch stuff like Netflix. I just recently got Netflix. I, I, I use it to watch YouTube. But whenever I want to watch a, a big action movie, if I want to feel more immersive, that's when I pull out this bad boy over here. This is a Elite Screen, Elite Screen um, projector screen. And the projector that I got up there is an Optima UHD 50. I think that's what it is, if I remember correctly. So let me show you the projector screen a little bit. This is a 110 inch. Now this is the biggest size that I could fit in this room because it's a it's, it's a small room. Put this back up. And this projector, I'm glad I was able to find this projector. Um, because for this size of room, um, most projectors um, wouldn't wouldn't work. I wouldn't be able to get 110 inch with most with most um, with most projectors. Because most with most projectors, you gotta be like really far back, like. 14 to 15, 15 feet back to get something like 110 inch. But um, this, I found this um, when I was uh, watching YouTube once, and the guy that, that that was talking about this this receipt from um, this projector is is Chris Majestic, and he recommended this 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 projector. He gave it a, a great review, and it's it's kind of kind of a, a short throw projector. Where you're able to get a, a big size screen without being too far back, so that it turned out like really well with my room since my room is not is not that big for my um, receivers. Closet and on this side of the closet, this is where I keep my 4Ks, my Blu-rays, my 4K player. Which is a Sony UBP X800, and receiver is a Morant 6012. Got a little fan on top of it to keep it cool. It's a 9.2 channel processor, or should I say 9.1 for some of you home the home theater enthusiasts out there? Because I know even though it says 9.2, even if you have two subwoofers, it still only count as one. Now for physical media, I still use them. Because that's one of the best way to get the best sound quality and best picture quality. And as you guys just saw, I have some powerful speakers, some high-end speakers. And the best way to get what your speakers are capable of is through physical media. Now I have Netflix, I watch some movies and some shows in there. But whenever I go to the movie theater, and I see a movie that's really good and I'm like, this movie is worth buying. I always prefer to have it on physical media. Because that's the best way to get the best sound. And picture quality. And on this side of the closet is where my son's clothes go. The real speakers. These are also definitive technology. Pro Monitor 800, you got the same thing on that side too. And as you read in the title, it's a theater room that can be transformed into a bedroom. 
And the way to do that is you remove those, those backrests and it goes like this. And then I'll do the same thing with all of them. I'm going to move the chairs against the wall over there. I'm going to move the center channel. Now I'm about to transform the theater into a bedroom. This right here, you're looking at the bottom of the bed. And same thing with this one, that's another bed. But before I transform it, I'm gonna show you something. Now, after I had done building the bed, I realized that the, the bed was way too heavy. So what I did was, I went to Lowe's and bought these metals and I, and I and screwed them to the bed and then add these metal springs on there. I did the same thing on the bottom. I, I took the same, I bought another metal like that one and screwed it on a two by four and then screwed the two by four on these two plywoods that the bed is, is, is attached to. Now, in order to make the bed go, go up and down, um, there's this mechanism that I use. It's the same kind of mechanism that's used on a, on a bar stool. You know those stools that can swivel around? The same, the same mechanism they use for, for stools. That's the same thing I, I used to, to build the, the Murphy bed. I got that, that idea from a YouTuber. Um, his channel is DIY Creator. So, so thanks a lot. So now, now let's put, put the bed down. These are actually, this is actually a door, a little extra um, storage space. To put the bed down, you pull these pins out. I have one on each side. And there it is, a theater room converted into a bedroom. These are two full-size beds, one's for my youngest son and the other one's for my oldest one. And you can lay down and, and watch TV if you want. You can choose this bed, whichever one you prefer. Sometimes if you don't feel like converted the room to, to a theater, like if it's one of those days you feel tired, you don't really have to convert it in, in, into a theater. You can just lay back and, and watch TV. And over here, I'm going to show you um, how the, the springs help make the bed a lot lighter. See how you can just lift it up with, with, with your fingers. Especially at first, when I, had, when I had first built it, when the springs were new, <coughs> Right now, those springs are a little bit loose because it's been it's been like about four years since I built this. And when I had first built it, my daughter was able to lift the bed with like with, with her pinky. That's how much how much weight the the springs had had reduced off of it. And and that is it. Okay, I hope I showed you guys everything and talked about everything that I wanted to talk about. But let me give you a little backstory on how this whole thing started, where I got the inspiration. Anyways, one day I, I went inside this store. That store is, 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 is discontinued now. Um, I don't even remember the name of it. But anyways, inside that store, they, they sold stuff like, like household stuff, uh, house uh, appliance. Like ceiling fans, chandeliers, all kinds of stuff, furnitures. And inside that that store, they had a room, and that room was a was a was a was a was a, was a home theater. It was a, it was a theater room. I guess they they designed it as a display, just in case if any customers are interested, and for them to have the company to come to their house and build one for them. And when I went inside that theater, I was blown away, man, with the way it looked. How beautiful it looked, the, the, the lights, the, the designs that they use. And that was back, back in 2006, I think. 
That's that was before my kids was born. Before my before my, before my, first, my first son was born. And I remember that feeling. I remember the way it made me feel. Even after I left the store, the feeling was still with me. And from that moment on, that's when I realized that I wanted to have a home theater. So we have this screened in porch that we never used. It's always been sitting there filled with junk. So I, I had an idea to, to try to turn it into a home theater. That's the first idea that I had that I had in mind, and I had called some some engineer. I called this one engineer to come by and take a look at it for me to to give me an estimate on the plan. But he was asking like five thousand dollars for a plan. I'm like five thousand dollars, I mean. Boy, if you don't. In my house, I mean, I didn't say that, but the price made me feel like saying that. And I called a couple of guys, called a couple, couple of contractors to come and take a look at it, give me an estimate. But after thinking about it, I realized that there was no way I was gonna be able to, to afford it. So um, I had just just like left that alone. After that, then my, my, my first son was born and stuff like that. I started having kids, so I, I pretty much thought that dream was, was dead. Because <clears throat> there's no way I could afford to turn that, that screen in porch in, in, into a theater because I, I don't have it like that. Left that alone. But I would always, whenever I go to Best Buy, I would always, you know, Look into you know surround sound stuff like that. Around the time I I, I settled for for those home theater in a box, and some some of them were were, were pretty good um, to be honest. I had a, a, a Sony, I had a home theater in a box. It was a Sony one thousand. So I think that's the, I don't remember the whole the whole name of the model, <laughs> but but it was okay. But deep down, I wanted something that was more powerful. I also wanted wanted to, to, to really have a, a home theater. So many years down the line, that was probably probably around maybe 2016, somewhere around that 2016, 2017, and an idea came up to my head that to use one of our kids' room and turn it into a home theater, a home theater slash bedroom which is which was which turned out to be a, a more approachable um a more affordable way so i went about that <clears throat> i gave it I, I gave it some thought you know to thought about it <clears throat> now throughout my life i've always been handy ever since i was I, ever since i was a little kid i've always been building stuff so i knew i was going to be able to build it so i was going out you know buying materials Going, going out in, in Lowe's, looking at their lights and stuff like that. And then when I saw this light, like right there, the only light that, that gave me that, that movie theater feel that I was looking for. So I decided to go with that one. They, uh, they actually uh, um, discontinued. They don't have that, that light anymore. So that's, that's how I go about about building this thing i did a little bit of research you know, to find out what what kind of like material to use i was walking around in in, in fab and in, in the you know enjoying fabric store i was looking at the, the, like the whole store and then when i when i saw that that kind of fabric that's when i was like that's it right there because it was like like one of the prettiest in there in my opinion i also built the theater on the rise like the floor is actually it's actually built on a riser the reason i did that is so whenever i'm watching a movie like a big action movie so i could feel all the bass or the gunshots or the you know all the punches or explosions and it and it, and it, it worked pretty well because it, it made it even more immersive it's it's it's, it's, it's pretty cool man it's it's, it's pretty nice in here. With, with this sub right here, sub this part right here can actually come off. I mean, 
Look at that, man. Look how powerful that look. It's pretty cool, man. Now, these speakers, these tower speakers, I've been wanting to own, I've been wanting to own these since, <laughs> since, since 2006. I've been, I've been looking at these speakers. Now, every time I go to, the, to, to Best Buy, I would have them play it for me. I would have them play them for me because you know, the way they sound, they sound amazing. They, they, out of all the speakers that was in there, this was the one that caught my attention. I mean, there was this one kid in at Best Buy. He used to get tired of me because every time I show up in there, I would always ask him to play these speakers for me. But eventually he ended up getting tired of me because he knew that I couldn't afford these speakers. I was just there to just, to just listen to them. And every time he sees me, he was like, oh, hi, oh, hi again. Oh, you again, oh, hi again. He, he was tired of me. But anyways, I finally got him, man. I finally got him. I finally got him in like around 2017, I think. That's how long it took me to finally have these speakers. So th those speakers, it's, 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 it's a dream come true along with that sub because i've heard some great reviews hope i didn't forget anything man one more thing this channel the content that i'm going to be providing is is movie reactions whenever i'm watching a movie a, a, a movie for the first time i'm going to record my reaction and whenever and also some movies that i've seen before i'll get some some family members to, to watch them with me to, to get their reaction because I enjoy seeing like family members reactions to movies that I've seen before movies that I think that are really good so I'll be doing that or I, I, or I just may, may just visit some old movies that I haven't, haven't seen in a while and react to them so look out for that make sure you subscribe hit the like button and the bell the notific notification bell so you can get updated with every video that I put out. I'll see you in the next video. I just I hope I didn't forget anything, man. Alright, see you.